At the beginning of August, the United States fined Mega International Commercial Bank's New York branch $5.7 billion for violating anti-money laundering regulations. Since then, the commotion has snowballed. On August 30th, Premier Lin Chen said the executive yuan will form a task force to investigate the case and sanctions. Other decisions will be announced in two to three weeks' time. At the beginning of August, Mega International Commercial Bank's New York branch was fined 180 million U.S. dollars, or 5.7 billion NT dollars, for violating the Bank Secrecy Act in 2012. Since then, the scandal has snowballed. On August 30th, Premier Ling Chen said the Executive Yuan will form a task force led by Vice Premier Ling Xiyao to investigate the case and find the responsible parties. He expects a decision on sanctions and other matters in two to three weeks' time. Meanwhile, the Financial Supervisory Commission said there are still 73 accounts and 174 transactions that need to be inspected. Mega Financial Holding Company Chairperson Xu Guangxi also came under criticism for traveling to the U.S. to investigate the case as the violations occurred when he was in charge of the bank. The Premier defended Xu's involvement, saying he is the person most familiar with the bank's operations and he will explain the details of the case to U.S. officials. According to reports, the fine was originally much higher, but central bank governor Peng Huainan managed to negotiate a lower amount. The premier says this case shows state-run banks need to do more to follow regulations and carry out internal controls. As such, he has asked the FFC to streamline the inspections of overseas branches. The Ministry of Justice and the FFC will also punish the perpetrators.